Oh boy. Uh, ooh. Oh, easy catch. Easy catch for Joey. Easy catch. I'm pretty sure that's like Andrew like fifth or sixth catch against him. It's just it's just it has not been his day. Alright, Tyler looking to throw. Oh. Oh, clipped him. Don't know his name, but that was a good kill. And just like that, Penn State has the man advantage. But they only got... Oof, he was not paying attention. Somehow he... Oof. Uh oh, oh, he's out. Nope, nope. They're just saying that you know, hit ball. All right, Schaefer, pump fake. Teams on the right. Oh, what a catch! Wow, wow. Ooh, that ball just stay in the air. It's a little bit too long. Number eighty-eight. Pretty sure that's Rob. R O R O B B went out. Yeah, that ball kind of just in the air. It's a little bit too long. Just a little bit too long. <laughs> Yo, Joey Tiger is a catchy machine. My goodness. Going with actually this year's goal. Ooh, what a kill, though. Schaefer goes down. Wow. I know, I know his name is uh, Dwight by Parson, so my apologies. I do not want to offend anybody. Another kill against JMU. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, man. What is going on here? But, hey, Penn State's been legit. <laughs> I mean, they made it to the Elite Eight last year. And yet some people in the league choose to sleep on them. I'm not sleeping on them. All right, let's see. Team throw coming up. Ooh, everybody is safe. Oh, spoke too soon. Number 11, Luke, goes down the last change. All right, pump fake. Oh. Okay, yeah, just start it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No dice. Ball just a little bit too high. Just a tad bit too high for my man number 55, Mason. Just a, just a tad bit. The power is there. The accuracy just a little bit off. But he's going to be all right. Another kill for for Penn State. We are Penn State. Just trying to get my man's number real quick. Oh, Cloud caught sleeping. Yeah, he got he got caught sleeping by the cross. Good kill by Andrew. Another team throw. And he's still safe. Only three players left for JMU. Not bad. Wow. All right, so, so Penn State have exactly six players left. Jamie only got three. Ooh, got him. Beautiful team throw by Penn State. Good combination by number 55, Mason. And number two, Hunter Stewart. Got him! Good God! Another beautiful team throw this time. <laughs> yeah, this is exciting. Uh oh. Got him! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Stewart is that guy, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to zoom into my man. Stewart is that guy. 
Uh, right, of course. Sorry. We should be at 15 minutes on the dot. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, sophomore sensational Hunter Stewart, number two from Penn State, was either directly involved or indirectly involved of getting those last three of getting those last three kills against JMU. Huh? Yeah. So you're gonna take that mic and you're gonna turn the dial you're gonna turn the dial to the left, probably like around six or seven. That that one, yeah. Turn that, yeah, turn that dial probably around six or seven. You should be able all right, so go ahead, put it on. Yep, it's on. All right, we're on. Sweet. All right, so I got my man, Alice Goodman. Yes, sir. Alumni yeah. from Maryland. What's up? Uh, where's the button? Yeah, where's the button? It's this one. This one? Okay. Sweet. Both sides ready. Wait, hang on. No, you're good. Okay, here we go. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. All right, let's get it. The clock is officially going. Yes, it is. Don't do that. <sighs> so, Alex, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, going to watch some football after this. I'm getting to see some dodgeball. People slinging. It's been a good day. Uh, I'm really happy to see everyone's been, everyone stayed healthy so far. I didn't see any injuries. Right. That's awesome. That part, though. That part though. So yeah, so right there, um, Cloud just went down that exchange. Yep. Good throw by Joey yeah, Schaefer. Whoa! Jesus, for multiple balls towards the left side. Yeah. Glad everybody's safe, my goodness. Yeah. Jamie with ball control now. Whoa! Ah, oh, they're trying to take out the side. And there goes part of my equipment. Holy crap. Yes. Um. I'm trying to think, is everything still? Oh my That's god! Yo! Yo! That was a brutal hit shot. Hope he's okay. Yeah, he's gonna be fine, but. Get some ice. He needs some milk. Oh, he's. I, I'm gonna drink some milk for him. Holy crap. I forgot, I forgot both of these teams throw the ball pretty hard, too, so. And he drove with bad attention, too. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of my mindset when I played. It's like if a ball's coming at your face, like you're not, it's not going to get caught. I mean, they did say on your um, senior um, player card picture that you do go for headshots. Yeah. So not I my get finest moment. Yeah, you, you, you do have a tendency to go for headshots. Didn't get too many in my playing days, though. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah. Big cross, big catch by Schaefer. Man, he snagged that. Yeah. He ate that up. He was waiting for it. Yeah, I'm looking to see Jamie shake some of the rust off in the first couple of games. Yeah. Had a good summer. Yeah, so I talked to a couple of their players. Um, they pretty much gave me the four one one. They got a lot of their rookie players kind of getting some much needed playing time. Yeah. Um, they're kind of doing things a little bit differently this year. Hence, obviously, you see this, you know, very senior players, veteran players, and the, you know, first year players who's trying to figure out this good mix. So there's going to be a little bit of inconsistency for JMU. Yeah, it looks like Ash is Ash. Is Esh here or did he take the day off? Uh, Esh is here. He's just not here at the moment. But yeah. he's like he's playing today. Yeah. Um, and he told me um, that, you know, the only time like he's going to be playing is if for some odd reason uh, Jamie you go back to overtime. So he's really not trying to play today. Yeah. But speaking of playing, number 99, Nick Spear with the kill. Yeah. Damn, Mason. Number 55 from Penn State goes out of exchange. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, uh, I was hoping to see Bender out here today. Yeah. Must be taking the day off. Must, must be, man. Strong throw by Taylor. Good dodge, good bag. Yeah. Yeah, JMU's a different team. Last year, they, uh, they just threw people off their toes. That's a tough break for my man, Zach, number 17. If that ball was a little bit closer, he had a chance, but. Joey with the, Damn. Uh, the cross shot. Yeah, both both of them just kind of traded kills right there. Yeah, JMU needed that more than Penn State, though. Yeah, and it seems like JMU is now kind of playing more of their traditional offense and kind of yeah. being a little bit more aggressive and firing. Playing fully dodgeball. Yeah. No! Oh, thank God. It's starting to look like the Jocks versus the Nerds on this point. Oh, thank you, Nate. God, that was... Oh, I know. I know, that is a catch. Thank you for protecting my equipment. Okay, we got... Is that one left? Yeah, that was a team throw right there from JMU. Whoa, Jesus, Tyler is kind of... <laughs> Yo! That's one way to do it. Yo! Stop the clock. Stop. Oh, my God. Yo! That's certainly one way to end a game. Yo, I'm... Let me check. Oh my God. Okay, let me check on my man Tyler real quick. He's got to be. He's got to be younger. He's got to be new. Nah, he's. Nah, he's a senior and he's a co-captain. He knows better. <laughs> uh, which one's which? He he knows better. He was just. Yeah, I mean. Uh. There's, there's two ways to end a game. You either run after people and try and take out the whole team by yourself, like a solo mission, or you uh, you wait back and look for a catch and try and get some help. I, I think he went for the for the first one. Yeah. That was uh. That's that's him. Well, I'm pr against everybody. That's pretty much considered suicide. Yeah. <laughs> Seems something I wouldn't recommend, but uh. He's younger than me. He's more athletic than me, so he can take the punches. Yeah, put my boy Shaggy in, though. <laughs> I know, right? It's one of the players I love to watch play. Here we go. You know, you, know, you know, Penn State is such a fun team to watch. Yeah. I mean, they have so many different types of players. They have people who are, like, down to, like, throw their arms out, like, they got people who are down to just like Whew. get on their knees, catch everything. Yeah. Good variety. Yeah, so 63 from Penn State goes down that exchange. Whew. Which would be Kevin. All right, so it's one apiece. Roughly 9.30 left in the first half. JMU only got two balls, though. Team throw successful. And I'm telling you, man, that uh, Mason Stewart combo on the left hand side for Penn State is pays a big dividends. Yep. Good block there by Avery. Yeah, uh, I'd like to see more crosses from both sides. It looks like people are pretty much going straight on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, crosses would be nice. I think, like, both teams are kind of just filling each other out. I mean, the blocking for both teams has been really strong here. It, it really been, man. I mean, that's, like, kind of like an underrated skill now since, yeah. you know, you know, we played back in the days where if you blocked the ball once, the ball was dead. Now you really have to make an attempt. Speaking of making that attempt, Mason had it all the way. It just, just off his fingers. He had it, though. Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't there for it, but uh, I heard there was a player from Towson who they used to, uh, he would throw like in the 80s. Yeah, and, uh, I play, yeah, I play against that guy too. And, uh, yeah, he'd have three blockers just for him. Yeah. Yeah, Joel Wash was a problem, and um, also forgot my man's name, but uh, dang, Kevin goes down again. Kills Yeah, the kill will go to number 17. I'm pretty sure he's a freshman. Or a first-year player. 
That's good to see. Wait, 17? Is it 17? Yeah, I think 17. I think like that might be someone else's jersey, or it might be his. But uh, I he definitely was here last year. Okay. I remember him. Yeah. Yeah, you right. You right. That's that's all me. Cause I just didn't um I just don't see it on the roster. All right, let's see what Stewart's going to do. Yeah. Oh, that's a catch. We have about mm. equal ball control. Oh, nice good kill. Good kill by Taylor. Yeah. We got someone wearing James Turner's jersey. Shout out to him. I already playing disc golf today. Oh, yeah, disc golf's cool, man. Yeah. Team throw. Good block by number 11. Lou protecting his teammates from that cross. Oh, no. Schaefer, what are you doing, my boy? Good reset throw by Spear, though, kind of helping my man out. Oof. Good bear throws. Yeah. Penn State might be getting a little bit tired. Mind you, this is their fourth game of the day. We had a break earlier because if a team has to play more than three games, woof. Joey clipped on his ankle. Yeah, the toe tapper against Joey. You hate to see it. Yeah, but by rules, if a team played more than three games in a day, there has to be a break. Um, That's a good rule. Yeah. Help with player safety. And yeah, seriously. Yeah, they just played uh, four games day one of Nationals last year. Oh, yeah. That I, was rough. Yeah, I remember that. Good cross by Taylor. Let's see what – No. All right, Avery, Avery decided to go back. Yeah, it's good to see Andrew Lesnick back on the court. He's, uh, he's looking for blood. Yeah, he is. Those shot clocks ticking. A lot of time has gone off on the clock, y'all. This, this has been a long yeah. point. Penn State have... I believe exactly six players left. If they lose another player, they will be on the 10 count. Whew, he's still safe. He's still safe. Jamie, you obviously have more Ooh. than six. So That was close. Yeah, it was. It was. So they got a little bit of freedom, you know, to kind of play a little bit more aggressive. Man, drop catch. Gross. That's kind of tough, man. I'm trying to get his number, but it's on the back and not on the front, so I can't see it. Number from Penn State. Yeah, the one who just got out. Yeah. He's going to turn around. That's number 12. Yeah, and that's... Um, uh, uh, they are on the 10th lot. You know what? I'm not going to pronounce that name. I don't want to butcher it. Can you say his first name? I'm, I'm trying to say his first name, and I'm, and I'm struggling. I'm a little off today, so... Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, word of advice, people. Once you hit your 30s, definitely take your B vitamins. Very helpful. Whoa! Dang. Yeah, we'll have to get someone over here at halftime, and they can uh, write out the phonetic spelling. Yeah. I'm pretty sure someone will help me out. Yeah. Ooh, easy catch. Good catch by number zero. Hit a bumper chest. Yeah, Kurt. Another kill. Woo. She's popping off. Woof. Gotta watch the hair. You gotta cut that. Yeah, you do, man. Two players left for Penn State. <laughs> Team throws coming everywhere. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, Penn State's not looking to uh, try to run the clock. They're looking to take this point. They might try to bleed as much time as possible. Oh, no, he had it. Catch. He had it. One play left to beat. Ooh, that ball, they should leave that. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Jamie takes it. And we're going to halftime, y'all. Let me go ahead and stop this. 320. 320 will be. Let's next year. Right. All right. And, um. Evan Esseber is back, but he's on the bench. He is on the bench. And that's where he wants to be. He does not want to play unless it's absolutely necessary. He needs to digest his lunch that he just had. That's one way of looking at it. Yeah, he uh, mentioned he might have been going to Chipotle. 
Chipotle. Uh, but yeah, Mason goes down. And um, no hit there. And Patrick is still safe. Ooh, Spear just got hit by the toe tap. Stewart is going to work. Stewart is that guy, man. Stewart is going to work. Penn State starting to have really strong. Team throw, here it comes. Woo! Stewart, man. Wow. Good wow. catch. All right, good catch by my man, number 12. The Penn State, man, my goodness. Man. Man, they're coming off the second half strong. Ooh, good cross. This JMU, JMU here, they have to uh, try and get ball control by throwing one ball and uh, dodging team throws. Looks like they have it now. Yeah, we're not even like two minutes into this half already, and JMU is already one player to almost being on the 10 count. Wow. Not, not bad, Mason. I like that. That's, that's fine. Mm, Stewart. Mm, Stewart wanted that catch. You know what? He's going for it. Oh, oh he almost got caught sleeping. Nearly got him in the head. Yeah, he got to put your head on a swivel. Cross. Oh. Got to get down to block those. Yeah, Evan Esselberg, he got on a... Uh, those crotch? Oh, team catch! Team catch! Man, Stewart, man, has been put... Man, Stewart's been putting on a clinic. Go ahead and stop the clock for me, please. Oh, yeah. No, you good? Yeah, man, Stewart's been putting on a clinic, man. My goodness, man, number two. Only a sophomore, if I'm not mistaken. We've seen his name a lot this year, man. Hunter Stewart, man. Sophomore sensational, man. He's been... Well, the kids these days are different. You'll see some. You'll see some freshmen. They'll come in. They, uh, they'll look all the 14 years old, and then you have other freshmen who come in, and they look to be like in their mid 30s. <sighs> Gotta be that GMO man. Yeah, something's in the water. <laughs> Something is in the water. <laughs> Something is in the water and in the food for sure. Yeah, when I came to college, I looked like I was in middle school. Okay, thank you for telling me how old I am. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't know. I mean, like, a lot of these kids, you made me feel old. I'm 23. Now you know how I feel. Sheesh. All right, so right now there's definitely a discussion. Hold up. Let me see if I can zoom this in. There we go. There's definitely a discussion coming in with the refs and the captains. to try to figure out what's going on, see who's in, see who's out. And if you look on the right over there, uh, we got a celebrity sighting, Michael Cohn, JMU alum. Oh, we got Cohn in the building? Yep. Yeah, we had uh, Drew Funk here earlier. He did uh, commentate with me a little bit. Yeah. Oof, almost Cone, failed. <laughs> Cone, Cone was out here uh, throwing some practice throws, uh, yeah. so this guy's practice catching. Yeah, he was. Definitely looks like he wants so, to be out here so playing. Somebody cut uh, inadvertently. I don't think he did it on purpose. Cut the line. There was a team catch afterward. The guy who was supposed to come in came in. The dude who cut the line is out. Gotcha. Okay. So, gotta get real time. Balls up! Balls up! Hey! Balls up! That's 34, right. Nick. Hey, stay ready! Um, Nate, stay ready! Nate, with the explanation. Thank you, sir, for that. Much appreciated. That's a good thing about having a crowd, Mike. You know, sometimes you can just get the answer from the refs and you don't have to do much. Nice All right, so both players are out. But uh, Penn State will gladly take that trade because uh, now JMU is on the 10 count. Team oh. Oh, oh, Stewart, man. I'm telling like Hunter Stewart is just built differently, y'all. Goodness. He's got to have at least like 70% of the kills is half. That's what I'm saying. No. No. 10 step out. 
10 step out, three players left. You know, he stepped out. We'll credit that to Stewart as well. Yeah, Hunter Stewart, man, number two, man, just been putting on a clinic. Really showing us how to get things done. His accuracy. Taylor over here being sneaky. I know, man. Oh, caught him sleeping on the job. 24. Great catch by Stewart once again. That should do the trick, y'all. Holy smokes. And just like that. tied. Yeah. Just like that. The game is tied. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, it's out the time. Whew. So many things to do. I know, man. I don't know how you do this all the time. I, I don't know either, man. My, <laughs> your boy, Zach, was giving me a hard time. He pretty much said, like, yo, Shadi, like, you good? I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, dude, you've been forgetting a lot of stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm tired. He said that I had early dementia. I don't believe him. <laughs> I do believe I do need to get my B vitamins, but I'm not going to hold you. Like, today, surprisingly, has been the most unproductive day I ever had this year. And it's been really, really weird. Yeah. So, I'm um, hopefully, you know, some B vitamins and rest should do the trick. You've been sleeping enough every night? No, no, no. Like, I've been sleeping. I, I you know, I got my rest. It's just that... Um, I just came back from Chicago last night because I was there from Wednesday to Saturday. Yeah. And um, I think what happened was, like, yesterday, I woke up, like, 2.17 a.m. in the morning, and I stayed up, and I don't think I went to sleep until, like, 11 p.m. at night. So. Do you do much reading? Hmm? Do you do much reading? You know, I, you know, I actually started picking back reading again, surprisingly enough, and I think I need to do that so I can kind of just get back into routine. Do you, what, what, do you, what do you do for all your entertainment? Do you like watch movies, watch TV show, anime? You know, I, I like a good anime, you know. Um, I have not been set. Anime's cool. Definitely watching a little bit less television. Yeah. Hey, Stewart wanted that ball. He did. But uh, number zero in GMU is uh, it's high. Yeah, he really wanted that ball. There we go. Cross. Not. Good blocking. Good stay here. Yeah. Neither side wants to uh, take advantage of the neutral. So no. Okay, it's definitely going to kind of loud in this gym. Um, let's see. Could you be so kind? Because I know it's kind of hard because I'm up here and you're down here. Can you turn down the knob on number three? So if you turn it to the right. Turn it to the right. To the right. Yeah, that's better. Like this way? Yes. Sweet. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Oof, dang. Could not snag it. But it was a blast, so I think it's fine. Yeah, that's a lot better. It just got super loud all of a sudden. Mind you, we're like in a big gym, so everything kind of just echoes. And that's too Balls collide. <laughs> Drop. God! Yo! It got real calm and real chaotic. Boy, and on Penn State, it was down. I know, right? It got super chaotic in the last 15 yeah. seconds. He, uh, he did take two people with him when he went out there. He did. He did. And Stewart's still in the game, so that's uh. Yeah. You, Jamie, you, Jamie you should uh should uh find find like a guy or two to take out and then go for Stewart. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Oh, oh that's an easy that's catch for Zach. Throw. That's easy money, and he's and he's giving his autograph to his fans. You <laughs> love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's not gonna make Jamie too happy, y'all. Also, keep in mind, Penn State has played three games today. Yeah. This is their fourth game. They're still looking pretty fresh. Yeah, I mean, uh, JMU, they uh, they played three in a row, but I mean. That's true. Three, three is nothing compared to four. Yeah, that's true. Woo! Ooh, big cross. Almost taking out the ref. I know. 
JMU play goes out of that exchange. And once again, JMU, if they lose another player, they will be on the 10 count. Meanwhile, Penn State is really close to having a full a full 12. They might. So they went out. Yeah, Penn State. They got, they, I think they have 12. Yeah, I think, yeah, they got all 12. I mean, some of my favorite time to play is uh, when we got a few players down. It's like uh, six or seven against ten just because there's there's a lot more space to maneuver and dodge. And exactly. There's a whole lot of targets to hit when you're it up and thrown. Exactly. It's a, exactly. It's, it's much easier to kind of move around. Yeah. And then you're, you're always going to be throwing into a crowd. Exactly. What's up? Ooh. Good block by Cloud. Protecting his captain, Mason. Yeah, Jamie looking kind of confused right now. They're like, wait a minute. We haven't quite been in this situation before in a while. Good block. Oh, uh, man, he ran right into that okay, one. There we go. That's going to help JMU, though. That's much needed for them. Yeah, 6 on 11 now. A catch would definitely change the momentum yeah. greatly for JMU. Yeah, that's some good catches. Yeah, they should be looking for it. Oh! Drop catch. Drop catch. Number 12, Jimenez. Oh, get back. Get Ooh. back. Get oh, Zero Ooh. got hit by the recoil. Clip him. Yeah, clip him by the foot. Yeah, Kirk goes down that a change. You hate to see it. Okay, 5 on 10 now. Need to look for a catch. Yeah, because Jamie is not on the 10 count. Oh, got him. Great cross shot Mason by Mason got. with the swag step. You love to see it. Backwards whack step, nevertheless. Four players left for JMU. Evan Esselberg might be coming into the bullpen back to the starting lineup. I don't lineup. know. He looks really comfortable in his Crocs over there. Yo, those are nice crosses, too, man. Oh! Yeah, that clipped him. Good kill by uh, Schaefer taking out 20 Cloud. Ooh. Oh, team Yeah, that hit him. Yeah. Yeah, that clipped him. Got one. One but, for one. But nevertheless, Hunter Stewart. It's about three on eight. But did he? Uh oh, another team catch. Just, just get it. Just get it. Oh, it hit off another guy. That hit off another guy. No, no, it's a, okay, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Let me start the clock too, on my end. Uh-oh. You know what? I can burn a little bit of time. It's currently 14.08 left in the second half. The, the game is still tied 2-2. Two two. Uh, but Penn State has been doing a really solid job. Yeah. I'd say the officiating of this game has been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, I think... That should be a team catch, I believe. I have no clue. It's it's really hard to tell, and because we can't do video replays or anything, it's uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta hard. like both teams are gonna fight for their cause. Uh, it's really confusing because there were a lot of bodies. I think there's a better chance than not that another player touched the ball, but uh, you can't really tell unless you go back. Yeah, that's a good point right there. Yeah, I mean, the next thing I definitely want to do is being able to stream 4K, 60 frames per second, yeah. uh, which will be ridiculously crazy. That would be a crazy stream, to say the least. Yeah. And also do instant replay. But in order to do that, I'm going to need some help. Yeah, it's uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, pro soccer now, just all over. And uh, the VAR checks, it's really hard because, like in dodgeball, it's not going to be that hard because uh, there's no judgment calls like, like calling fouls or anything. Uh, yeah. But I think VAR and dodgeball would be huge. I think so, too. I just just kind of need more personnel for help because yeah. we like you're currently doing two jobs. I'm currently doing, like, four jobs. Yep. And that's, that's not an easy thing to do by yourself. Speaking of not easy to do by yourself, JMU can definitely use some assistance. In the worst way. And um, throwing a catch to my man Joy is not going to help your cause. 
to Joey just absolutely snapped that against Schaefer. Joey told me that uh, they're really happy with all the arms they have on Penn State, so uh, it's really allowed him to focus exclusively on catching. That's that's smart. That was the um, that was a you know kind of a criticism um, against the team last year. You know, very offensively minded, but you know, kind of struggling defensively. Yeah. And um, let's just say they um, they fixed that problem real quick. That is no longer an issue. Well, One yeah, play they, left to beat. They had a few guys that would just eat anything up. You throw within five feet of them, and they'd be flying. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Set it. Man, I tell you, man. Set balls over? Yeah, that's balls over, man. Yikes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Definitely looks like Penn State's going to be up 3-2. to two. Yeah. Still time for JMU. Evan Esselberg still looking very comfortable in his crotch. Yeah. We, uh, we stopped the clock on balls over, right? Yeah, we do. Sweet. Yeah, we do. I don't know. It's crazy. I've played so many sports over the years, and uh, I don't think I've ever read a rule book. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I think I think what all teams should do is they should have one rookie who's really into the sport and uh, have them read the rule book or break it up with, like, five rookies, give them each, like, 20%, uh, or even you can quiz all the rookies. I mean, honestly, if we're going to be 100% transparent, everybody should know the rule book. Yeah. But some people don't read the rule book because, let's face it, some college students don't like to read. Yeah. I mean, if you get if you uh, start off with the rookies, then uh, then the whole next generation they'll know because then uh, then they'll be testing the next rookies and the next rookies, and in a few years, everyone should know it. No, that's smart, and you know that actually makes sense. All right. Here we go. We got about 13 minutes left here. Yep, and it's about to be Posting a team throw corner. in three, two, oh, one. Oh. And he just reached. The most nonchalant team throw I've seen in a yeah. long time. But nevertheless, that still work. Oh, we got to stop the clock here. Yeah, we do. Here and now it's. Uh, yeah, let me update on my end. Penn State's going to. Should I put Penn State's on this side still? Yeah, it's three to two now. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That looks good. Yeah, that's all right. No, 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 you good. Do you like any news on that weird call? Uh, I did. I like. So if I, I think I'm right. I've never had that happen before. Yeah. The guy who initially got hit came down with the catch, but he's trying to. Every Somebody else also hit the ball. Yeah. So it's a team catch instead. Even though the initial guy that got hit caught it, it's still a team catch because somebody else touched it in the field. Yeah, it was a, it was a huge. But then in theory, like, any ball that bounced up, he could knock back to the guy who initially got hit and get a catch instead of a team catch. Yeah. That's why. I mean, there was a huge jumble, and it was really hard to it's tell. Special. I've never seen that happen. Yeah, Penn State was arguing, saying that, like, no one on their team touched it, and, like. like six people touched it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the people were hitting each other. I, like, if we add VAR, we could even like zoom in on that. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure, like, the safe call, conventional wisdom wise, is like, oh yeah, that's definitely a team catch. Um, yeah. you can kind of turn the the knob, um, for three just a little bit to the left. A little bit to the left. Yeah. Okay. So higher. Yeah. Okay. That should be good. It's good. Yep. Get ready. Ready. Stay ready. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. Damn, you need, need some balls on the run-up that look like uh, an even split. Oh, start the other timer, sir. You good. Yeah, so um, yeah, so the story of the day thus far is like when JMU's down, they play aggressive. When JMU is tied, they play conservative. Ooh, that one got him in, uh, yeah, it did. in a special place. I hope he's okay. Yeah, let us hope and pray, man. He just needs some air. Yeah, he's definitely needs some ice. Ooh, good block by Joey. Yeah, Joey's doing well with the blocking. All right, that kind of hit ball. He's safe. Good block. Oh, Mason. Rob catch. Mason, what are you doing, my guy? 
you know, when he watched the film, he's going to be upset with himself, man. He definitely had several opportunities, man. Yeah, I mean, he's second to come back in on a catch, so he's going to get another shot at this point. Yeah, that works out. Oh, uh, team throw not successful on the left-hand Good side. Good dodges. Here we go. That ball's coming in. Yes, sir. Joey's going to gobble that ball up. Yeah, he is. Bring it back. Even split on ball. Ooh. Penn State's up one ball in Boston. Not a bad throw from Joey. Yeah, good throw to traffic. Yeah. That was a good burn throw. Not going to catch that. Exactly. Let's see what Stewart's going to do on the right-hand side. Nothing. Getting down to the shot clock. That throw looks to be good. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only thing VAR wouldn't be able to do would be uh, tell if a throw would reset the sock clock. True. That's the only thing it could do. Yeah, Ooh, that's true. good. Ooh, got yeah, they got Rob him. on the foot. It did get Rob on the foot. Did it, it hit him or not? It did. Okay, yeah, it there did. You go. It did. Ref rules out. Yeah. Oh, no, he dropped it. Yeah, he dropped that ball. Another good kill by Stewart, good man. By, uh, the dude in purple. Looks to be a new player because he didn't have a jersey yet. True. Stewart with the throw. Not yet. Nope. Swell too soon. is going up here on the left. Looking like he's about to take some of his head off. Yeah, he is. Good block. Oh, okay. State's burning a lot of balls here. They're giving GMU the full ball control. I know. And the funny part is they don't really have to do that because it's JMU who, who kind of had to force the issue. Yeah, the number zero got out. I didn't quite catch how he got out there. Was it a catch? I don't know. Uh, Cloud yeah. kind of by himself on the left-hand side. He got Joey coming to help him. Good throw. JMU with the shot clock ticking down. Two balls thrown there. Here we go. Jamie's pushing up. Oh, he Ooh, had it. Good throw. He read it all the way. Just missed it because he just lit the ball up in the air. If we just kept yeah. him down, he would have been fine. Man, you can't turn, my guy. No, no, no. Nah, man. You turn around, man. Like, that, they hit you. It's a team catch. What? Maybe not. Oh, he can just call him out clean. Out. Out. Man, this is some weird stuff happening. Yeah, we got about nine minutes left, and Penn State looks to be completely in control here. Woo! Wow, that is a catch. Oh! Oh! Whoa! We are Penn State. Oh, man. That break for JMU here. Yeah, that's a tough break for JMU indeed. That's still looking comfortable in his uh, Crocs. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm thinking he might need to start warming up. Maybe, maybe a T.O. here. Some man. Man, Stewart's kind of, he, he he wants to get these last kills, man. One or two point lead against JMU. He understands the significance of that. Yeah, I mean, the, JMU, they have a lot of their, uh, their uh, overtime six still left. So maybe they can get a catch here. Okay. Ball's flying. Like I said, if you can get two points under 820 left in the second half, the game is the game will pretty much be over unless JMU just started to just hit on the gas. Yeah. I think it's uh it's about twelve on six now. I know. Whoa! Actually I think it's um twelve on five. Actually twelve on four. Okay, now Penn State, they just want to go for the kills now. They're like, listen, we're, we're done playing conservative. we done the work. It's time to put these guys out of our misery. Looking ready to catch, but it looks like they're sort of avoiding him. So, you know, it's one of the top catchers. Team throw coming. Oh, no! No! What an effort by my man Alex. What an effort. It looked like you got somebody else there. I don't know if they're going to call it. Wow. It. Talk about a momentum swing. Much, much needed. We're going okay, to need a We're going to stop the clock we, here we, because we, everyone's we, walking on the court. Yeah. It, really, it really looked like after the catch, someone on JMU got a Penn State player out. It looked like he, they were arguing. They were walking towards the ref. 
the refs didn't stop the game, and a Penn State player got hit. But I don't know if the refs talk, like could see because they were uh, talking. Yeah, that was, that, that was kind of wild, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was wild. Uh, how much how much time is left on the, the stream there? Um, So I think the game clock stops at 7.15, so I actually need to add um, an additional 10 um, seconds. So it need to be 7.15. Yep. Um, so we got seven minutes and 15 seconds left. Uh, we was really thinking that JMU was dead in the water, um, but Andrew, number 37, really came through with a very clutch catch and also successfully keeping his body in bounds. Huge two-player swing. They're, uh, That's a huge two-player swing. I think they're trying to argue about the catch, but, I mean, I don't think there's much to argue. I think he was completely in bounds. Ball, the ball, like, his hand was under the ball. It had no chance to touch the ground. That's what I'm saying. Like, I still believe the catch should count regardless because he had the president of mind to keep his body in bounds. Yeah, honestly, if I was JMU, I'd be arguing now, being like, I I think we hit another guy out. Yeah, reset shot. All right, so we got. Uh, they're both on 15. So we're both more on 15. Set. Yep. Hey, get set. Balls up. Okay. Hey, hey, we got balls up. Balls. Uh, shot clocks are going to reset for both teams because of all the confusion. We'll run it on the field. Definitely yeah. worth some thirst to reset, though. Yeah. I'm about to say, man, we lucked out, man. We lucked out. It's a heated game. I know. Like, normally the JMU Towson game is like the feature game of the day, but it's actually Penn State versus JMU that's actually the feature game of the day. And we also got to see um, UVA play extremely well. Yeah, I mean, uh, JMU and Towson, I believe they went to overtime earlier. They did. So, I mean, like, like both that game and this game have been really stellar. Yeah. And it seemed like they're still talking about it. Yeah, the, uh, Jamie's talking about it now. They're saying that uh, they hit a guy in all the confusion before the uh, the Towson refs blew it dead. Right. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. I mean, I feel for them because, like, it doesn't matter if there's confusion. If you're arguing while the game is still going, the clock is still rolling, uh, you shouldn't be punished for that if you're able to hit a guy who's not paying attention. That's true. That's true. That's true. I right, seem like we have an explanation. Seem like that Penn State player who may have got his is not out. Yep. Uh, with that being said, James, you still only have five players left. Penn State really close to a full twelve, but they don't have a full twelve. Um, the only player that seemed to be out is their head captain, number fifty-five, Mason. And with a catch, you know he'll get right back in. So I think that means that he was the one who threw the catch to get out. That's probably what. Yeah, that's probably what happened. So, to make a long story short, if JMU can get a point and, and it's under four minutes, we will go to overtime. I think that's a good call, giving the ball back to JMU. Because yeah. uh, they were, there was confusion and they missed some stuff. Penn State ready. JMU ready. Dodgeball. Yeah, okay, we are continuing with 7.15 minutes left. Oh, you can't do that. Jesus. Oh, got him on the leg. Oh, my God. Only two players left in JMU. That kind of changed the swing. Make that one player left. I spoke way too soon. Holy smokes. And uh, we are we uh, are chance. I'd step out right now. Yeah, that would be the smart thing to do. It's going to be hard. They're going to have to catch a lot of team throws. Yeah, but Andrew's still in, so. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's looking like the uh, the Maryland UBA game wrapped up. Pretty much. Uh, Andrew Lesick is the uh, lone Jamie player left. His ball's all over the court. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to do something. Dang! Wrong. Hate to see it. Respectfully, it would be wise for Andrew to step out in an effort yeah. to save time. Clock stops at 6:12 with the balls over. Man. Now Penn State is most likely going to go for a team throw. Yeah, Ashenberg looks way too comfortable over there. He's, he's not coming back in. He's like, 
I'm good. I'm situated. I've yeah. I've done enough work already. I think he's. I think what it is, he's still upset that he actually had to come in to play against UVA. Yeah. I think that's what's. What, like once he realized that had to happen, he was like, okay, like I'm, I'm, I'm done cleaning up y'all mess. Like y'all gotta figure this out. Yeah. So. I mean, he was looking mid-season form, and so I think that. uh I think he's trying to take it easy early in the season. Yeah, he's trying to pace himself, you know, like a boxer, you know, not trying to do all 12 rounds yeah. at once. He understands it's a long season, and he's trying to get his team, you know, an opportunity to, you know, compete for a championship. So oh, it's Penn State. I'd milk the clock here. There's no need to throw anything. Suicide! Woo! Successful! And once again, Penn State continued their traditions of suicide kills being successful. I don't know. I think there's no need for that. I, I think that's a uh, bad call from like a strategy standpoint. I understand they want to come out here. They want to make a statement win. But, I mean, uh, if JMU comes out here, they have potential to run like a two- or three-minute point. They've done it before. They can do it again. Well, yeah, I mean, in order for JMU, in order to pull that off, they're going to have to play – at a much faster pace. Yeah. And like I said, I, I spoke to a few of their players and, you know, they were just, you know, being transparent with me, like always. They're like, hey, like, we got, you know, some veteran guys. We also got a lot of, like, young players trying to give them some playing time. So, obviously, yes, it would make sense to play fast. Um, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult to do that um, when you're still trying to figure out some of your new teammates. Mm -hmm. So... <sighs> Yeah, also, I don't, I don't know uh, how well JMU was training in the off season. If they had people doing sprints, if they had people really like conditioning, uh, they should be fine here. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't like. Yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a good point, man. That's a really good point. I'm not I'm not really for sure. Um, maybe. Okay. Oh, and he's in crotch. Right he's now. in crotch. You know what? I'm doing this. Holy crap. You guys. Uh, are there any rules about, like, what kind of shoes you can or can't play in? I'm pretty sure I'm going to get, like, a whole 45, pa 45 page paragraph for this. Yeah. I just want to go home. <laughs> I mean, I almost played in Crocs in a tournament. Uh, yeah, I mean, but that's just you being you. I mean, this is Ash being Ash. So. Yeah, that's a good point. And let's start this timer. Equal ball control from the start. Right, he is on the court playing in cracks. He's full blown playing quarch. And uh, I don't know. I would hold B back. He does have him in sports mode, so. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting him trying to run. Because secondly, he's supposed to be wearing shoes. I'm not going to say that quarch are not shoes, but. He's, he's really giving me some old man vibes right now. It's interesting. I've actually gotten uh, yelled at by Maryland staff before for playing in flip flops like basketball. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it. And that's, that insult to injury. They that's that's so like yeah. the highest tier of insult to injury, and you can tell that as the birds is laughing, he's like, you know what, I'm. I deserve that. Jeez. I mean, personally, if I'm going to nail someone in the face and they're going to catch it off their face and I'm throwing 70-plus miles an hour, I'm just I'm just saying, yeah, you can have that one. Yeah, pretty much, man. You take that fat lip, potentially a black guy. That's all you. Hey, man, if, as long as I – Oh, good oh, cross. That was a beautiful cross. Almost though. a team catch. Oh, Whew, that was dumb. <laughs> and number 10, pretty much yeah, – Jamie's got to go. I don't think they're in the mood of going, man. I think they, um, I think they're gassed out, dude. Dang, another cross. It just, they're just not, they're just, uh, man. I'm trying to be, oh, well, that's too easy. I'm, I'm sorry. That's going to do it. That's definitely going to do it, y'all. At this point, at this point, we're just playing for highlight reels at this point. 
I mean, uh, going through turnover on a team, it's really hard. And uh, props to Jamie for coming out here and playing as well as they have today. Yeah. Uh, I mean, granted, they were missing two of their top players for uh, most of this game, most of the UBA game. Yeah, good kill right there by number zero from Jamie Yu. I mean, it's going to take time for them to get their uh, new team dynamic. Oh, 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 he almost. <laughs> and he stepped out. <laughs> Woo, oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Yo, Mason is scarily and underratedly athletic. My goodness. My man got some wheels. Ah, uh, yep. That definitely clip him. Yep. It's definitely looking like uh, Jamie is still trying to figure out who their uh, who their top throwers are going to be. Oh, yep, that's an out. Good so kill, drop, good drop kill, Joey. Yeah, drop ball. Five, four, three, four, oh wow! Like a shaggy, oh, he almost took me out there. He, yeah, it took a both out on that one, man. My goodness. Come on, Shaggy, you have a wife and kids. Throw almost clipped him on the foot. Yeah, man. And keep in mind, I believe Ashenberg was the first JMU player to get out. Oh, God. He was. So, and, and JMU has not made a single catch yeah. at this point, which is very telling right now. I'm pretty sure they're going to work on that once once they get back home. Speaking of putting on work, number 12 has just been putting on a catching clinic of his own, trying to match my man Hunter Stewart. Two players left for JMU. And, um, yeah, this is going to be an ugly. Shaggy draft catch. Yeah, this is going to be a tough loss to JMU. This is no nice way of saying it. Yeah. Uh, they will bounce back. Um, oh, with the vengeance. Um, so <laughs> you best believe they're going to be, um, you know, going to be taking notes and taking names. But uh, uh, Do you know who uh, the next host team is for the tournament? So Penn, yeah, so Penn State should be hosting a tournament on October the 8th. Unfortunately, I would not be there because I'm actually going for a, a paid gig um, in D.C. for basketball. That's uh, awesome. Are you going to do the uh, video and audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually got to set up like a whole team. and got to do like a whole budget. That's awesome. What team? Um, it's a it's two pro teams like in a, in a well-known basketball league, the TTBL, the triple, the, the triple threat basketball league. Oh, sure. And speaking of being a triple threat, Zach – Catching ability, dodging ability, throwing ability. And with 50 seconds left, I think that's going to be the game as both teams appear to be lining up. Yeah, we can just end the game right here, y'all. Yeah, that's a very convincing win for Penn State. Final score, 5-2 to two in favor of Penn State. Successfully going 4-0 and oh for the day. JMU falls to 2-1. Um, I believe Maryland defeated UVA. So that should be one and two for them, and uh, it's going to be a really, really interesting uh, season here on the East Coast because it's looking like uh, well, we haven't we we missed VCU today. Uh, unfortunately, they couldn't be here. True. But, uh, it's looking like every team on the East Coast is going to be able to compete with each other. Yeah, and I think UVA went zero and three, and I don't remember Towson's record. So give me one second. Uh. Towson, I believe, at one and two. Yeah, they beat UVA and then uh, lost to JMU and then uh, lost to Penn State. So it looks like Penn State won the tournament. Yeah, Penn State won the tournament. Towson went one and two. Maryland went one and two. Um, JMU went two and one. Penn State successfully going four and zero. Oh. Next tournament will be taking place on October the 8th. Sorry, next East Coast tournament will be taking place on October the 8th at Penn State University. Next tournament for the NCDA, if I remember correctly, should be next week on October the 1st in Athens, Ohio uh, for the third edition of the G, sorry, of the JBBB tournament. And also be the first time that women will actually have a six-on-six no-steam tournament. So that's going to be very exciting. Man, I tell you, man. 
yeah, that was fun. And um, despite all the craziness that happened today, uh, today's been pretty successful. So, <laughs> Lord Jesus, I'm ending the stream, y'all. Alice Goodman and Shadi Drake for here. Um, yeah, no problem. We're, we're pouring. Oh yeah, no problem. Uh, reporting live from College Park, Maryland. Um, we'll see you next time, everybody. Take care.